let us discuss the formation of a stationary wave. Now, a stationary wave, we will talk about that in a little bit, what it really is, but uh, remember that stationary waves are always formed from two progressive waves. And very importantly, what are the conditions? Number one, these two progressive waves must be virtually identical. And when we say identical, we mean it must be coherent, right? Meaning the same wavelength, frequency, and speed, but it must also have the same amplitude. Now, one of the easiest ways to create two identical waves is to simply reflect a wave. And this is going to work out very nicely because apart from being identical, these identical waves must travel in opposite directions and they must overlap completely. So it must be one wave going like this and another wave just simply coming right across it like this. And so look at the diagram below. This is the incident wave, right? The, the solid one. It's going to hit this boundary here and it's going to cause a reflected wave, which is represented by the dotted one. And notice that this will tick these conditions wonderfully. And hence, the superposition of these two waves gives us a stationary wave like so. So when we study a stationary wave, First of all, there will be these points called nodes represented by N and these are virtually destructive and so these points never move. And then on the flip side, there will be the empty nodes which we are going to denote as A and these are points that will vibrate at a maximum amplitude. So this will go back and forth, back and forth like this so on and so forth, right? And so we get a stationary wave, okay? And of course, let me draw in the dotted one to show the other extreme position of this stationary wave so we have an idea of how it looks like. 